Today Fund gave us background knowledge of the former Roman Empire and how it connects with the Roman Catholic Church. Now we are going to look at how Rome and the Catholic Church connects to the New World Order, a one world government. In 1563 was a painting done of the Tower of Babel by Peter Bruegel. Now you will soon see why I am showing you this. The European Union issued this poster and used the Tower of Babel as their symbol, showing the slogan, Many Tongues, One Voice. Now why would they chose such a symbol? Now to understand this we have to go back to the Bible and read in Genesis 11 verse 6. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men built. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Let us go down, and they confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech, so the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. So the Bible tells us, now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Now what did they imagine to do? Now do you think that the Lord was worried about the fact that the people were building a high tower that will enable them to reach heaven? No, because the buildings of today is much higher than the Tower of Babel could have ever been. Now God was definitely not worried that the people would be able to climb up to heaven. God was not impressed with their plans, what they have imagined to do. Therefore did he intervene and confused their languages. Now with my research, did I find that after the flood of Noah, men began to multiply and established settlements. In Genesis 10 verse 8, Cush begot Nimrod, and he began to be a mighty one in the earth. Now according to the Bible, Nimrod was the first king after Noah's flood, and the cities he started was Babel or Babylon, Erech, Asad, Kalne, Nineveh. Now we also see that Micha 5 verse 6, talks about Assyria, the land of Nimrod. Now we know that ancient Babylon is today's Iraq. According to Genesis 10 verse 8, the Bible tells us that Nimrod was the first man after the flood to become an emperor or a king. Now Genesis 10 describes Nimrod as a mighty hunter before the Lord. Now this term is not complimentary but implies a ruthless, wicked man for a lust for power. Because we read in the Bible, let us make us a name in Genesis 1 verse 4. Now after he established his kingdom in the Tigris Ephrates region, Nimrod combined his power by established a state religion. Now he constructed a religion where he declared himself God, as well as the worship of Satan and his demons star worshipping astrology. Now with this information we see that Babel was the cradle where the idea of a one world government and emperors that wanted to be worshipped as gods originated from. Now is this why the European Union chose the symbol of the Tower of Babel? Because the New World Order's emperor, the Antichrist, will be revealed very soon, Mr. Europe. And the Bible tells us that the Antichrist will also exalt himself as a God.
Now, a key factor in Nimrod's false religion was an astrological observatory. Now, that is a view or a lookout that was built upon the pinnacle, at the highest point of a pyramid or a tower at the city of Babel. Now, it has been suggested that Nimrod studied Egyptian mystery religion from before the flood by the wife of Ham, who was a descendant of Cain. Now, the building of this ziggurat, the tower, was interrupted by God himself in order to prevent Nimrod's strong influence on the people on the earth by confusing the languages so they could no longer cooperate with one another and form a world government with a world religion. The human race scattered over the earth and they carried with them the word of God as well as the Satan hero worship, which Nimrod had invented as well. Now, this system of muddled half-truths is known today to biblical scholars as the Babylonian mystery religion. And after Nimrod and his mother-wife's deaths, their priests declared them as gods, knowing as Marduk and Astarte, Queen of Heaven, etc. Now, Baal was the primary name by which other nations, as well as Israel, were introduced to the worship of Marduk, and Baal means Lord or Master. Now the Babylonian mystery religion, this is the fulfillment of Revelation 17 verse 5. Now this is very interesting, don't you think? We see that after Noah's flood, that Nimrod became the first emperor or king who declared himself God. And we see through history that all the emperors of Rome have had the same sick idea for declaring themselves as gods. Now we know that Mary of the Catholic Church is not the real mother of Jesus, who they are worshipping, but the mother of Nimrod. Now she was also his wife, and known in the ancient world as Semiramis, Ashtaroth, Astarte, or the Queen of Heaven. Now you can read about this for yourself at chick.com semiramis. Now just for the interest, they did find ruins of a ziggurat, a tower at the Euphrates River 50 miles from Baghdad in Iraq, known as ancient Babylon. Now some archaeologists seems to think it is the Tower of Babel. And upon her, the harlot's forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Now the King James Bible printed these words in capital letters, so God definitely wants our attention on this. We know that Mystery Babylon is the Roman Catholic Church, who worship Mary, Queen of Heaven, also known as Astarte or Ashtaroth. Now we can read of her in the Bible in Jeremiah, Numbers, Judges and all these scriptures below. So we know now what the people imagined to do in Genesis 11. Now their goals were one nation, one language, a global government combined with a false state religion with a tower of Babel as an astrological focal point from where they could practice their false religion from. Okay, now that we know what the Rebellion of Babel was all about, we are going to take a look at the other symbols that the European Union and the Roman Catholic Church are using to promote their New World Order agenda. Now, something interesting is Nimrod also means rebellion. Now, in the next clips, we are going to look at the meaning of the symbols used by the European Union. The European Union's flag consists of 12 stars that was inspired by the halo of the 12 stars that appear around the Madonna in Catholic pictures of her. Now, former Secretary General of the Council of Europe, Leon Markel, affirmed that the stars of the flag of the European Union are those of the women of the Apocalypse. Now, that is the woman in Revelation 12.